How are you today? Is this Liza? May yes, Key? How are you today, Liza? <laughs> We're so happy to have you here on TDSR Radio. How are you today? Today is good. Today is good. <laughs> Well, can can I be one of those that says happy birthday to you also? I know you just celebrated your birthday. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't you you don't look at the past eighteen. That's all I know. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what I don't know what you're drinking or eating or exercising, <laughs> but man, keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're doing great. You're doing great. Um, oh I just God. had to uh, reach out to you because you know we we read a, a great news article. From the Jamaican uh, Gleaner, um, that you are, you are you've been a um, boxing manager for many years, and um, you, you know everybody's just been excited about this new news article, um, and I just want everybody to hear a little bit of how you started the business and your humble beginnings, you know. Um, so I just want to tell my audience, ladies and gentlemen, you know we are privileged to have Liza May Keen here on the radio, TDSR Radio. And um, she's going to be speaking with us today about her humble beginnings and how she got into this boxing management business. You know, uh, it's a tough business, but we're going to hear a little bit more. All right. So, Liza, go ahead, my friend. Tell us a little bit. How did you start? Uh, what's your, how do you get your start interest in boxing? Okay. First, let me like make a correction. It's Liza. A lot of people call me Liza. You serious? Liza. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Oh, that's even better. That's even better. I gotta tell it. So Lisa May. Yes. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry for pronouncing it wrong all these times. No, that's you know? okay. It's, it's everybody pronounces it as Liza. It's, it's, it's actually spelled that way. Yes. But it's actually Lisa. But you know, you know, when so, I was in prep school, we used to sing that song. You know, that's where it came yeah. from too. Right? It wasn't exactly. Lisa. Everybody would sing it, Liza, oh Liza. You know, so it's it's just stick in your head, you know. Um, right. All right. We're well, sorry about that. All right, Lisa. I'm sorry. So, tell us a little bit how you started uh, in your humble beginnings. You like boxing. How how did you like boxing? How did you get into that? Well, um, when I was a kid, I used to watch boxing a lot with my dad. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. but you know, I guess he got me started there. But as I, you know, it that was with, let's say the ninety nineteen eighty eight. 1987, 88, you know, 89. Okay. And then, of course, I think boxing globally went, had a little lull. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess there was a revive, you know, maybe in the late 90s, I would believe. Okay. When we probably had like the Floyd Mayweather's and not just picking on a name, but I, I believe that after a while, boxing itself revived, you know, and um, mm -hmm. yes. But I still didn't didn't get involved in it. I wasn't following the sport. I wasn't doing much because in Jamaica, yes, there was no boxing. Okay, there was every other sport but boxing. Yes, and in 2011, they started this series called the Rhea Nevi Contender Series, which is a, a, it's a reality slash boxing show on television. And I used to manage a fellow. I used to be the manager of a major hardware in Jamaica. And this guy used to be one of the, I used to manage him. He was one of the, the, the employees there and he used to come to me let's say about like this was in about 2007 three yeah. years before the contender series and he used to tell me he used to box wow so he told me you know oh um i had a very good relationship with my staff whoever i could help you know in various different areas of their life i would try to see if i could extend myself and he used to tell me oh you know i i box and i said boy you know and i used to help him out a little bit with a little <laughs> money here well, and there, but I used well. to kind of nudge him and say, hold on, I said, Dwayne, why not choose another sport? I mean, at that time, we had the great, you say, ball, yeah, breaking world and feel, records. Like and everybody else. Chuck and feel right. It was, you know, and, and I, I, I definitely know that as a boxer, yes. well, 90% of the boxers can run because yes. they have to do that for endurance training. And I said yes. to him, I said, why not just 
run. You know, it, it, it would be a better investment of my money at this point in time. And yes. I stuck with him. Wow. Didn't really pay much attention, but I still used to give him a little thing to, you know, facilitate his training and so and so. Never went to go and view him. Okay. I was just doing it from a distance. Yes. And wow. I left the hardware in 2008 okay. and started my own catering company. And in 20. To, we had the Real Nephew Contender series, which I definitely came out and watched because I was like, whoa, boxing. So I went there. And at the start of 2012, I heard this fellow calling my name out at my gate. And I said, <laughs> who is that? And this guy found me, found where I lived. And he said, Miss Kid. Boxing start on TV, and I want to come and enter the competition. I need you to be my manager. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I had already enjoyed the show the year before. And okay. I said, well, most certainly I would do something like that. But didn't really. I mean, I was assisted financially, but I really did not know anything about boxing management. Okay. I didn't know... I really didn't know anything about the sports. I mean, you watch a fight and you have no idea what's going on. You just know that somebody is hitting another person and somebody wins. Yeah. It was just the very basics that I knew. Yes, yes. And oh, I wow. went in <laughs> and I helped him out. And I believe that if I knew even half of what I knew now, he would have gone further in that competition. But I just did not know. I was assisting financially. And he didn't make it past the first stage of the competition. And but I got a, I got very popular as the first woman. Yes, yes. In the arena, managed boxing to manager. Be a managed manager, right? Oof, and incredible. Because of that, he got a lot of attention. Okay. And the loss got a lot of attention too, which. That attention too came over to me. So, you know, oh, yes, wow. So there's a lady in the sport and we're expecting. And because, you know, from the very beginning, yes. I managed my boxers. I made sure that they were in the best care. Good. And it was obvious. Good. So he stood out from the rest. So when you stand out so much and then you don't do well in a competition, the attention is on you. And I remember that somebody who was one of the top people in the sport, you know, of boxing in Jamaica. He had said to me, well, you know, ma'am, I think that you should just take a back seat because there's so much attention on this loss right now. We had the comments even saying that his manager should have gone in the ring and fought for him. Man. Oh, no. That's he cheated. Yes. But, you know, it was that, it was that defeat that made me know that, okay, listen, let me assess my situation. I really don't know anything about boxing. I don't know anything about 